Good morning, Pioneers. My name is Andrew Basel, reporting from Cross Lakes High School. Today is Friday, March 4th, and here are your announcements. Here with you, it's Max Rivich, and I'm here to do the media review. You might have heard the talk about the new movie Deadpool, but what you might not know is that in the first weekend it released, it made over $135 million. If you were one of those people that went and saw it, you know how great of a movie it was. But if not, you might want to make your way to the movie theater and watch it. Good morning, Pioneers. I'm Mason Brown, and welcome to the Mason Brown Show. Today's special guest star is Scott Crack. How many, Scott? Yes, sir. I'm doing good. It's good. So, Scott, I'm going to ask you a few questions to get the students to know you better, okay? All right. That sounds like a plan. All right. Scott, what's your name? Um, it's obviously Scott Crack now. All right. And what grade are you in? Uh, I think I'm a senior, 12th grade. All right, sounds good. <laughs> first, first, first question: Are you in any sports? Uh, yes, I am. I am in powerlifting, and I might be joining baseball pretty soon. All right, sounds good. Thank you. Right. Second question: If you can go any place in the whole entire world, where would you go? Probably my house. Why your house? So I can sleep. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And what are your plans for after high school? Um, it's probably be joining the military and serving for about 20 years. Wow, good for you. Thank you. All right. Thank you. you heard it from Scott. I'll see you next week on the Mason Brown Show. This is Amy Cristini here with Matt Catawell, and we're talking about the Blue Inferno. Do you know what the Blue Inferno is, Matt? Yeah, I heard it's like a like a club type um, club type dance where the school is going to bring up uh, like professional lights and put them in the oxygen. I heard. Exactly. Are you going? Of course. I'd be a fool not to. It's been a great time. What time does it start? Uh, 7.30. Exactly. Do you, have you bought a ticket yet? No, they're 15 prepay, but 20 to the door, right? Exactly. So you better prepay. I plan on it. Definitely. All right. We'll see you there. Yeah, see you guys there. on the 18th. Oh. Will you want to dance with me? Save your energy. We should save our energy for the dance. All right, All right let's go back to class, buddy. Right. Hi, I'm Cody Bertles. I'm Marcel Munger. We're CLSN, and, and here's your week in sports. sports. First off, I'd like to congratulate Jasmine Ebner on individually winning regionals. And then also I would like to congratulate both bowling teams for qualifying for states. They will start today and continue on tomorrow, and they take place in Jackson. Second, I would like to congratulate the wrestling boys. Uh, five of them qualified for states. They started yesterday, they will continue today, and they will continue on tomorrow. Make sure you wish all four of them, five of them good luck. Girls varsity basketball is home against Emily City today. And then if they win, they will carry on into regionals next week. Also, boys varsity basketball will play the winner of Armada and Amat next Wednesday at home. Hi, I'm Cody Bertles from CLSN, and I'm here with four out of five state qualifiers from the wrestling team. I'm here with Francisco Puebla, his first appearance, Garrett Glinski, also his first, Keegan Silverthorne, also his first, and Colin Lieber, his third time. Francisco, what do you attribute to your state qualification this year? Hard work. Hard work. Yeah. Okay, that's a good one. All right, and Garrett, what do you, what do you attribute to your uh, qualification? Dedication. Dedication. That's important. you got to be dedicated to something like this. And Keegan, what about you? Just hard work. Hard work. That's a good one also. Hard work. You really need that. And for my, uh, my good friend Colin here, it's like riding a bike for him, his third time here at States. Colin, what do you uh, plan on doing different this year to bring home the state title? Um, well, I'm cutting weight this year, so it'll be different. Cutting weight? Okay. And that's uh, our four out of five state qualifiers. Missing today is Joe Hayden, our fifth qualifier, his first time also at States. Make sure you uh, find these boys in the hallways and wish them luck.
Thanks. Okay. Good morning, Pioneers. My name is Lindsay Lightning. And I'm Abby the Avalanche. And we're here for your weekend forecast. Friday, it's going to be 30 degrees. Saturday is going to be a high of 36 degrees. And Sunday, it's going to be a warm 40 degrees. Make sure you guys wear your jackets, because it's going to be a cold one out there. And that's all for this week. Have a great weekend, Pioneers.